Hey guys, welcome back to 2017 level 2 waves. In this in this video, I'm going to be walking through the question 3. The during her summer break, Sarah goes to a holiday home by the beach. Due to the rocks at the beach, at the depth of the water changes sharply. At the beach, Sarah counts 3 waves reaching the boundary in 15 seconds. The wavelength of the waves in deep water is 18 meters. Calculate the speed of the waves in the deep water area. So in this question, we're going to be using the relationship V equals to F lambda. Our F is how many waves go by in one second. So if 3 go by in 15 seconds, that means uh, in one second, 3 over 15 will go by. That should give you 0 0.2 hertz. And uh, we have our wavelength, which is 18 meters. So therefore, now we can find our speed. So V equals to 0 0.2 times of 18. And that, if you plug into your calculator, that should give you the answer of 3.6 meters per second. And that should be just an achieved question. Yeah, just an achieved question there. The waves move from deep water into shallow water. On the diagram below, draw the refractive waves uh, in the shallow water. So in this question, we're going to be drawing an uh, incident ray and the refractive ray, uh, and the refracted ray, and then the waves will uh, uh, they will bend uh, ninety degrees to that refracted ray. So we're just going to make an imaginary uh, incident ray. So our instant ray will just say go smack bang in the middle. I mean it doesn't have to be, okay, once again it can be anywhere. But we're just going to say for the sake of simplicity, we're going to say it's in the middle. So, our normal line will be 90 degrees to the, 90 degrees to the um, boundary. So therefore our normal line, our normal line will be 90 degrees. 90 degrees to the normal. So now our instant ray, okay, since it's going from deep water into shallow water, shallow water is more dense. Therefore, it will bend uh, the way, not the way, the ray will bend towards the normal. So our ray, our refractive ray should look something like this. Um, bend towards the normal, so. Um... It should look something like this, but okay, we'll stay somewhere there. And our uh, angle of incidence would be uh, this angle, angle of incidence, and angle of refraction. Alright, so now we're going to draw our uh, refracted waves, and our refracted waves, uh, our refracted waves are 90 degrees to our refracted ray. So all we need to do here is a little bit of, uh, if you have a ruler during the exam, you should use the ruler. But you should make sure that your refracted waves are 90 degrees to our incident, uh, not incident, the refracted ray. So you just gotta look for about, should be somewhere there. It doesn't have to be exact, but it has to be uh, somewhat uh, close to that uh, 90 degrees mark. Yeah, and you just keep going for each one of them. Yeah, and that should be your final answer. So the rays, uh, the rays will bend uh, ninety degrees to the refracted ray. And drawing this correctly, um, yeah, so drawing this correctly will get you a merit question. Uh, this is a merit question, so getting this correct will get you a merit. But you only get a merit given that you, um, um, that your wavelength here, uh, wavelength here has to be smaller than this wavelength. And uh, if you draw if you draw your diagram correctly, it should be um, it should be a definite that your wavelength will be shorter. Okay, that's pretty much a guaranteed if you draw it correctly. If the wave speed in the shallow water is three meters per second, calculate the wavelength of the refracted waves in the shallow water. So wave speed in shallow water is three meters per second, and I assume that we use. Um, Assume we use the 
same, assuming it's the same waves from question A. They weren't really clear on that, but I'm going to assume that they use the same, the same, um, the same waves. Okay, so once again, as V equals to, um, equals to F lambda, you have your velocity equals to 3, and your, of the waves in deep water is 18 meters, uh, 18 meters, so, um, Right, so assuming it's the same waves, okay, um, the question wasn't really specific, but I, I'm assuming that it's the same waves. So you know how in the in the first question you worked out the frequency was 0.2 hertz? Because the frequency doesn't change, we're moving from one medium to another, we can assume that the frequency is still 0.2 uh, hertz. So F, we can still assume is 0.2 hertz, assuming it's the same waves. Well, there's no way to do this question unless um, it's the same wave. So therefore, you can say 3 divided by 0 0.2 equals to lambda. So lambda will give you to be 15 meters. And that should be your final answer. And this is just an achieve, standard achieved question. One day, Sarah is work, walking along a cliff beside the beach. She cannot see the water waves reaching the rocky shore, but can hear them hitting the rocky shore. Explain why Sarah cannot see the water waves reaching the rocky shore, but can hear them hitting the rocky shore. Okay, so basically, why can you see but not hear? Why can you hear but not see, sorry. So, basically, uh, the process is called as diffraction. And when the sound waves, they hit the hill, because the, they have a much larger wavelength, they are able to diffract a lot more, meaning they bend a lot more towards Sarah, so therefore Sarah can hear. But for the light waves, they have a really, really tiny wavelength. So when they actually reach the hill, they will, they will diffract really little. If they diffract really little, then Sarah can't actually see the rocky shore. And that's the phenomenon we're dealing with right here. So, our answer is going to be something like this. So, uh, when the sound waves, when the sound waves uh, travel to the hill, uh, because the lambda is much bigger, the sound waves are able to diffract diffract uh, a lot more and bend towards Sarah where she can hear. Um, however, however, for the for the light waves, for the light waves, um, the lambda is very small, and when it reaches, when it reaches the hill, the diffraction, the diffraction is very little and does not bend enough for Sarah to see. And this question is, um, uh, it's going to be a merit question here. And to get an achieved question, you're basically saying either one of these. So for merit, you have to say both sound waves and light waves, but for achieved, it's only either sound or light waves. All right. So, further down the beach, a band was preparing to play music. They had set up two speakers which were 4 meters apart. As part of the sound test, they were playing a sound of constant frequency through the speakers. Sarah walks along a straight line from A to B, as shown below. She, uh, Sarah notices that the sound she hears varies from very quiet to very loud many times as she walks from A to B. Explain in detail why Sarah hears louder and quieter sounds many times when she walks from A to B. So the phenomenon here is the... Uh, um, it's the anti-nodes and the nodes and the constructive and destructive interference from the two point sources. So we have the two point sources, which is A and B, and uh, they both will generate the sound waves, which will travel in a semicircle. So um, depending on where Sarah is, it could be on an anti-node or a node. Uh, the waves could be constru uh, constructively interfering or they could be destructively interfering. 
depending on uh, what type of line she is on. So when she reaches the node, so basically on, um, So on the node, there's a destructive interference, and on the anti-node, there is a constructive interference. So basically, uh, the, so basically depending on what the path difference is. So for example, if the path difference is only one lambda, then therefore there will be the constructive interference because the two waves are overlapping, and uh, the trough is meeting with a trough, or the crest is meeting with a crest. And when that when that happens, there's a constructive interference, and she will hear a very loud, uh, loud sound. But however, when the trough of a wave meets with the crest of another wave, they will cancel each other out, and therefore, um, Sarah hears very quiet noises or nothing at all. So how are we gonna explain this? We're gonna say, um, uh, Sarah hears different sounds due to due to um superposition superposition and and interference uh, on a anti node there is a wave uh, there is a wave crest me uh wave crest of one source sorry of one speaker interfering interfering with a crest from another speaker okay so this causes or i mean sorry a crest or or trough and So this causes uh, constructive interference. And the and the sources add together together to create a very loud a very loud noise uh so they add together to create a very loud a uh, very loud noise uh so we're going to mention the path difference the path difference is a la is only la uh n lambda so any whole amount of lambda so basically n lambda uh so therefore the uh this is the n lambda uh, the path difference is n lambda, so therefore there's a constructive interference. Uh, Sarah hears soft, oh, sorry, soft, soft noises when a wave crest, uh, when a wave crest meets with a wave trough. Of another speaker. This causes this causes the destruct destructive interference. This causes destructive interference and the uh, waves destructively interfere. To cancel each to cancel each other out. So therefore the required sound is hot. Okay, so so the wave uh the wave the path difference is the sorry the path Difference is half. It's a uh, half of uh n half lambda. Well, not necessarily n, but just um the path difference is like a uh, half a lambda. So basically, it's not a whole number, and this will cause a destructive interference.
And uh, that should be your final answer there. And uh, you have to cover the path difference of the waves, and uh, the destructive and constructive interference, and uh, what this makes to, well, what that effect has on the amplitude. So how does that create a quiet or a loud noise? So those three points linked together will get you an excellence grade. To get a merit grade, you're looking at two points uh, effectively linked, and basically for achieved, you're looking just for one point effectively linked. All right. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you did, please smack that like button. And I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.